Hi, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of the Ace of Cups podcast. I'm really excited. For everybody that listened to our last episode and that watched our last YouTube video, I just want to say thank you. If you did feel like any bit of like, oh, I can relate to this or this inspires me or this motivates me, then that is more than I could ever hope for. Oh my God, this week has been a pretty life-changing week. Um, just a lot of changes have been happening in my life. I don't know, I just felt like it was time to enter a different area of my life and a, a, I mean, a different era of my life. And I feel like I'm stepping more into the person that I've always wanted to be. And I feel like little by little, I'm becoming her literally piece by piece, um, just putting the pieces together so I can build myself to where I always dreamed that I would be to where like little Yuli always dreamed <laughs> that she would be. And it's, um, I'm, I'm very proud of myself and it's, it makes me like very emotional to think about, um, where I was a year ago from now to where I am now. And if I could go back and tell her like, Hey, all these things are going to happen. And, all this is going to happen. And, and like, if I could go even two years ago, like if I could go back back and tell myself two years ago, all the ish that's going to happen, I just, I don't know what I would do. Like, but I think I'd be super excited. <laughs> like, I don't know, so much beautiful change has happened. There's been a lot of like ups and downs. Um, there's been a lot of downs for sure. And like I mentioned in the last episode, like some moments that I didn't know if I was going to get past them, like, oh my God, am I ever going to get out of this situation? Am I ever going to get out of this? Like, am I ever going to surpass this? Am I ever going to like, you know, get back to where I was or level up again? Or like, am I ever going to go to where I want to be? And th those are very scary thoughts to have, especially when you're so young. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just like, I'm figuring this out as I go. I don't have anybody successful in my family. Well, I think most of us, like me, my brother, a cousin of mine, like, you know, like there, I feel like our generation is the one that's taking that step, but there's nobody to look up to in that sense in my family. So I've always looked up to people outside of me and I've always, you know, been inspired by like <laughs> Jeffree Star, <laughs> which I know he's super controversial, but like Jeffree Star is a huge inspiration for me. We actually have the exact same birthday and just so many things like align with me and him and the whole makeup thing. And like, you know, it, it just, it, it was, and I loved him from the beginning um before a lot of things <laughs> happened but he's a huge inspiration for me and like I, I looked up to him for a long long time I have people in my close life that I'm very inspired by I'm gonna drop her name in here Michelle uh, <laughs> I met Michelle um she's my manager um I met her two three god four years ago like almost three four years ago which is insane to think about like time just like goes by but she's a huge inspiration to me because I have never met a woman that was like independent and that like was financially independent and that traveled by herself that went places by herself she's literally the one that made it like possible for me to be like oh wait I can do this like I can go travel by myself I can go to a restaurant and sit by myself like that has been like a huge inspiration for me just people that you meet along the way that are gonna inspire you like she literally has been such a like hand in my growth and like she probably doesn't even think <laughs> of it like that but she has truly been such a big inspiration and I promise like when once you guys start your journey and you know once you guys start your journey of self-development like God will put people in your life that are gonna like show you and just be like look this is what's possible type of thing so just be on the lookout for that There's, I never had anybody within my family like growing up in my life that I could look up to so it was really hard because ever since I was little this is gonna sound really weird I knew I wanted to be rich and I knew I wanted to just be very successful and I don't know where it came from but I literally like I was super tiny and I literally said, I think I, I kid you not, I think I we, we were looking at a magazine and I think it was like Trump's house or something. But the house was made of gold. So I don't know if it was Trump's house, but the point is it was a house made of gold and we saw it in a magazine. And I don't know why, but I literally just blurted out like, oh, mom, one day I'm going to buy you a house made of gold. And I always had a knack for like um, luxury things and just um, really just. And, you know like being successful and just being like in the spotlight okay so essentially in this episode I want to talk about the fear of success which it's kind of like the fear of failure but not really because 
I've been dealing with this and the fear of success uh, is just what it sounds like. It's the fear of being successful. And you're probably thinking like, why would you be scared of being successful? <laughs> why, why would you be scared of like of having money? Why would you be scared of like, you know, having a beautiful house, having a beautiful car, having like a social media presence, being famous, whatever? Like, why would you be scared of those things? And it's essentially it's like the fear of change, but just ways that um I've noticed it and like the research that I've done. Some of the ways you can know if you have a fear of success. So you tend to like avoid change or you tend to stay where you're comfortable or just like settle for what you have or like you just settle with the circum the, the cards that you're dealt essentially just because you, you don't want it to change. It's uncomfortable for anything in your day to day life to change. So you're just you settle and you're okay with the cards that you're dealt instead of like striving for more, thinking outside the box, like how bigger can this go? How much more can I do? How much more can I get, etc.? How much more can I accomplish? Kind of like ambition in that sense. Some of the ways that this show up are like procrastination, perfectionism, quitting, public reception, or like the fear of not being able to sustain it. And that's something that actually um, clicked for me recently. As you guys know, like I've been going to therapy and everything. And it's really helped me like <laughs> get in touch with my own limiting beliefs and the limits that I set for myself and the things that I tell myself that are absolutely not true, but it's just ingrained in your subconscious. And one of those things, of course, is the fear of not being able to sustain it. So you you get successful you you get whatever your term of success is and then there's a fear of you not being able to sustain it so like oh my god like so let's say your um your idea of success is making a hundred thousand dollars a year i feel like that's uh, the bar for like a lot of people so let's say your idea your big accomplishment will be like oh i want to make 100k a year okay great let's say you get to making 100k a year but before you do that let's say you're thinking about making 100k a year and then you tell yourself oh my god but what if i start making 100k a year and i adapt to that lifestyle and then for some reason i can't sustain that income and that goes for all amounts but that's something that um that's one of the ways that like it shows up like so you <laughs> you have this dream you have this idea of what you want like this goal that you have in your mind and you're like oh my god that would be so amazing if i get it but what if i can't sustain it and what if like I only have it for a little bit and then just goes away type of thing. So <laughs> but one of the ways that you can really break through that is just being like if you're able to get somewhere, it means that you're able to sustain it. Obviously, the things that you go through to get there and the things the again, the people that you meet, the steps that you take, everything, all the barriers, all the like obstacles that you have to get through to get there will make you the person that is able to sustain that whatever your level of success is whatever your idea of success is whatever that goal you have so everything that will lead you to making that goal or getting that accomplishment is going to make you the person that is able to sustain it so obviously if you make 100k a year you really think if once you hit that benchmark okay i make 100k a year you really think there won't be any other company out there or there won't be like any other job or anything out there that will be able to pay you the same or even more because the idea is to keep increasing, not stay the same. And that's something that I had to tell myself recently, because like I have this goal, right? I have this financial goal of how much I want to make per month. But it's like, okay, when I get there, what? Like, that's not it. Of course, I want to keep increasing it. So it's not just, oh, you make $15,000 a month. and That's it. After you hit 15, you tell yourself, okay, we have to get to 20 and then 30 and then 40 and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Keep building. So don't limit yourself to just, oh, I'm going to get here and that's going to be it. And then what if I'm not able to sustain it? You tell yourself when I get there, then I'll start working towards 200K, 300K, et cetera. So that's one way that you can battle that is don't think of that as the end line. Like that's not that like whatever your goal is, that's not the most that you're going to do. So let's say your goal is to get a thousand um, a thousand subscribers or a thousand followers on Instagram or a thousand followers on TikTok. Um, once you get to that thousand, it's like, oh, what if I stop posting content and my followers stop going down or something like that? No, that's not how you're supposed to think. You're supposed to think, okay, well, I got to my thousand followers. Now I need to get to 2000 followers. <laughs> now I need to get to 3000 followers and on, and on, you know, and so forth and so forth and so forth. So it's not about like, so if you have, if you've ever had that thought, like, oh, what if I'm not able 
to sustain this thing that I want so much, then just think of it, well, that's a stepping stone. So that goal will be the basis for your next goal. So it's not just like you get there and that's it. It's like, okay, what's next? So think of it as a stepping stone and you just need to get to that stepping stone so you can keep building and keep going. Okay, the next way that this shows up, like the sphere of success is procrastination, which I've actually seen in myself as well. I'm a huge procrastinator. And I think I've been since like high school, really. (laughs) But just procrastination, like it's like, okay, I'm going to call it like not staying, not keeping momentum. So let's say like, um, let's say you have this goal, right? (laughs) Let's say you have this goal, whatever that goal is, and you start working towards that goal. So let's look at it two ways. Let's say you start working towards this goal and you start putting work towards it. You dedicate a certain amount each day, you know, like you de- you dedicate a certain amount of time each day towards that goal and towards where you're going to be. So it can go either of two ways, this procrastination. So let's say the first way is that nothing happens. So you start putting in this effort and you start putting in this work and you don't see anything coming from it. So you're not getting followers, you're not getting orders, you're not getting money, like whatever your benchmark of what you're trying to get, right? However you measure that success, if there's nothing coming your way, you start to get discouraged and then you stop. <laughs> so let's say you do it for like a week. Let's say that like uh, you, you're putting effort towards this goal for like a week and nothing happens. You get discouraged and you tell yourself, well, I'm putting in work, nothing is happening. So I'm just going to like stop putting work towards it or like, I'll, you know, I'll pick it back up later or whatever it is. Right. Like and I've dealt with this a lot and I didn't know what it was. And so what would happen with me and this is the other way that it can go is you start putting in work towards it and you start getting followers you start getting orders you start getting whatever you start getting you know the universe is telling you like yes keep going (laughs) um but then you tell yourself oh i just got lucky this time or oh it's just you know it just it's a coincidence or like (laughs) or you know it just it's it's not gonna be like that all the time and then you slow down or you stop or whatever so that's like procrastination or like you you're not getting things done because you don't think it's going to be like that instant gratification but it is like the proverb like you reap what you sow no matter what you do it's gonna come back to you at some point in time in one way or another so i'm um, i don't know what like law like what universal law this is but i know and i've seen it with myself whatever you put out there comes back to you in some way shape or form like it always comes back to you if you give like a 20 percent tip or a 30 percent tip or whatever it may be it's gonna come back to you in some other way it's it's it'll come back to you like maybe you'll get like a reward like a reward or something a refund i don't know like something always comes back to you whatever you put out into the universe you're gonna get back which is why it's important to be putting out good energy and be putting out like positivity and love and messages of like encouragement and just understanding and empathy like whatever you put out is going to come back to you so if you're somebody that's like you're very spiteful and you're very negative and you're constantly hating on people that's what's going to come back to you and you don't want that for yourself obviously make sure you shift your mindset to like oh my god like just put out positive thoughts reframe everything in a positive way but we got off track. So <laughs> basically you don't get, so you start putting effort towards it and you don't get that instant gratification or you start putting effort towards it. You do start getting some things back immediately, but it's like, oh no, it was just this time. I just got lucky. It doesn't mean it's actually going to pan out if I keep doing this or whatever. That is the fear of success because you're scared. You're scared of two things there. You're scared that if you keep going, it's going to be a waste of time and you're not going to get anything from it. Or you're scared that you're going to keep going (laughs) and it's going to do so well. Like at some point, you're going to keep getting all of this and it's going to bring about so much change and you're not going to know what to do with that change because it's going to be so different and and it's going to require a lot of things in your life to change a lot of things of your personality to change like just so many things are going to have to change in order for you to get to that goal but that's the point change is essential you can't stay where you are and reach where you want to be you can't stay where you are if you have a certain goal to reach you have to move like 
change just just do whatever you can to get to that goal that's just one example of course so if your goal like with me with my with my business if your goal is to get more orders or your goal is to reach a certain amount a month okay so start putting effort towards that start marketing stop advert start advertising stop start telling people about your business start putting yourself out there start in whatever way like just start putting yourself out there as much as possible the more that you put out the more comes back to you and it might not be instant you could be doing it for a week a month and maybe not even see results but i promise you if you put dedication towards something every single day for i promise it's going to come back to you. there's no way that you can put effort towards something for two weeks and nothing is going to come from it you know and if nothing does come from it then then you're doing something wrong so analyze what you're doing and see what you can change because then you're doing something wrong so another way that this fear of failure shows up is perfectionism which i've also dealt with so when i first started my business i would always tell myself like no i can't do this because I'm not doing it the right way or like, no, it's not perfect. So I can't do it or I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do this until I'm able to do it perfectly, whatever your idea of perfect is. And the reason the thing is, is that sometimes our own subconscious. So if you're scared of success, if you're scared of all the change that that success is going to bring or like you're scared of all that. So you really don't think your subconscious would give yourself like impossible standards to meet up to for your current situation. So you just tell yourself, you know what, it's impossible to even get there. So I'm not even going to that's perfectionism and literally like the fear of success. So w just lower, not lower your standards, but don't give yourself like unrealistic standards. If your budget is Let's say you have a thousand dollars saved and you want to start a business or you want to start your company. You're not going to look at a manufacturer or something that charges you thirty thousand dollars to develop a new product. You know, you have to start somewhere. So you take that thousand dollars and you figure out, OK, how can I start this? Even if it's not perfect, but how can I start this now with this thousand dollars? What can I put this towards to start building my dream? Maybe you can create a campaign to actually get money to get the $30,000 or whatever, you know, like maybe you can start a fund, you can start like a social media campaign, you can start like a GoFundMe, like, you know, things like that. You can put that thousand dollars towards marketing for the GoFundMe. Like, you know, what can you do with that thousand dollars? It's going to help you get to your goal. Or maybe there's like a cheaper manufacturer, even if it's not as high quality, but it'll be a step. And you'll be like, you know what? This is the first draft. I'll perfect it as I go. I'll make it better later on. Okay. So another way that this presents itself is just, just straight up quitting. So let's say you start a new project or you want to start a new business or you want to just start something or start working towards something. And again, you don't see that instant gratification. You don't see that like instant reward from it, which is kind of like going to the gym. This is, this is the reason a lot of people stop going to the gym. It's because they go for a week and they don't see any changes. They're just like, oh, whatever. It's not going to work. Like, no, you have to put in consistent effort for like one to three months for you to start seeing a change. And it's not... And maybe you're doing something wrong. I've met people that like go to the gym. They don't change their diet at all. They go to the gym. They like give a minimum. I was this person. <laughs> they go to the gym. They give it like minimum effort. They haven't changed their diet at all. They're still eating whatever and whenever, you know, whatever their little heart desires. And they don't see any change. They get discouraged and they quit. Like, no, you have to make a change. If you're going to, if we, if that's your goal is to be fit. Okay. What does a fit person eat? What does a fit person do when they go to the gym? Do they just like, like lazily like swing their arm for like <laughs> 30 seconds and then just go home and have like 10 wings? No, they're going to make sure they're getting their protein. They're going to make sure they're hitting their macros. They're going to make sure they're not taking as many carbs. They're going to make sure that they're hitting the right movements that they're you know they're they're building the right weight that they're doing what they need to do to reach their goals in a way so you can't um you can't rely on instant gratification on like instant reward because it's not realistic like you can't just do something for a week and be like oh well nothing happens so i'm just gonna give up that's not what you do you keep going no matter what i think isn't there like a statistic that like most businesses like fail within a year just because 
it's not working out like you know people just give up like no don't give up if you have a dream and if you have a goal <laughs> i sound like martin luther king <laughs> if you have a dream if you have a goal if you have something that your heart like desires like so 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 bad then don't give up on it why would you why would you do that to yourself why would you do that to your soul because we're all sent here with a purpose and we're all sent here with something on our heart that we have to do for this world or for our life or whatever and if you come here and you try something for a week and then you give up you're basically telling whoever sent us here oh you know what i'm just gonna waste my time here and not do anything with it and i'm just gonna lay back and watch tv <laughs> like no like you have you have a purpose every single person on this earth has a purpose what it, maybe it's to write a book Maybe it's to start a YouTube channel. Maybe it's to motivate people. Maybe it's to raise the next president of the United States. You know, we all have a purpose in this world. Whatever it is, whatever goal it is, like it, everything is a purpose. And you will know because like you just know because it's something that persists in your heart. It's something that you like every day you wake up and it's like there like, oh, I want this thing. I want this. I wish I could be doing this. That's that's th your soul telling you. Hey, I need you to start working on this. <laughs> hey, I need you to I need you I need us to get there. And it sounds a little, a little bit it sounds a little bit crazy, but if you've ever felt that and if you've ever had that in you, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can't just quit when you don't get that instant reward. There are people that have worked towards things for, for months, for years, and they don't see anything and then boom, like 10 years or something it's just like it just blows up because what again whatever you put out it might not come back right away but it's gonna come back in some way shape or form so maybe you like you know maybe you like w put work towards a business for like three years and you're not seeing that much success and then i don't know where this this investor sees your company and it's like oh my god this is amazing i want to invest in this and then just gives you like two hundred thousand dollars and that can make you like raise that company through the roof you know so whatever you put out there is gonna come back to you you just have to believe that and you just have to believe in yourself and you believe in what you're doing and just know that at some point it's gonna be worth it so whenever you feel like giving up whenever you feel like quitting whenever you're like oh this isn't working out or i'm not seeing anything come from this you need to remind yourself of the image that you have of when you reach that success and tell yourself it's going to be worth it because I'm going to get there. It's going to be worth it. I will put as much work as I have towards this because it's going to get me there. Just like that. Okay, the next way that this shows up, and I've seen this a lot with me, myself, and I, is public reception. So what people will think of you when you do this. Okay, so <laughs> I've seen this a lot with myself. Like, I have been trying to make videos and i have been trying to make content on like youtube and on instagram and stuff since i was in high school like probably since fresh i think since freshman year of high school i was i've been trying but i always stopped like you know like i had so much other things going on um so it was never like something that i was like oh i'm gonna dedicate myself to this is something i wanted to do for fun but i've been trying to do it and i always wanted like to do that to do that for a living essentially but and one thing that i realized recently when i started it up again but with dedication like oh i'm gonna keep this going and i'm gonna be consistent with this was oh my god what will people think of me and then another thing came up like okay when i start making all this money and when i start buying myself all the things that i want and when i start putting myself in different spaces in my life and when i start reaching different levels what are people gonna think of me so the the people that i grew up with my family the friends that i grew up with what are they gonna think of me because they're just gonna be like oh who does she think she is or like you know but again that those are just my thoughts and my negative thoughts most likely people are not thinking that and if they are thinking that it's not coming from a good place or it's just not a good person to have in my life but it, it's just like I get in my head so much. So if you guys have ever felt that way, like, oh, what will people think of me if I start posting content? People are going to think I'm cringy. People are going to think that like I have a sugar daddy. People are going to think like, you know, whatever it is, you just have to literally pardon my French, not give a fuck. You just literally do not have to care. You have to 
believe in what you're doing and believe in what you want so bad that like nothing is gonna hold you back like you know what this is cringy you know what yeah what i'm doing is cringy just just literally just tell yourself okay and i think i touched on this in the last episode as well if somebody is thinking something of you whatever it is first of all tell yourself is that the truth like is that the truth because if it's not the truth then you shouldn't care anyways people will think whatever they want regardless but if it's something that is within your control like it, let's say it's just like oh i this person i feel like they're hating on me or like this person is gonna think it's cringy or these people are gonna think i'm weird or whatever just be like okay and what what is that going to do? Like, are you going to like wilt and die from that? No, you're going to be fine. You probably just won't have that person in your life anymore. And anybody that's not meant to stay is just not meant to stay. Just let it go. Like whatever, whoever is, whatever your path is, whatever your purpose is, you really think that there's not going to be people along the way that are going to like come into your life and align with whatever you're doing. They're going to be like, they're going to fit into whatever you're trying to create. Essentially, it's not going to be something that holds you back or it's not going to be something that like keeps you from pushing forward. It's going to be people that motivate you and that like want you to do good and they're like oh my god go do it yes like cheer you on literally like there those people exist and they are out there you just have to be open like you have to be open to letting go of certain things like so let's say you have like a childhood friend or something and they're gonna start thinking start like having like very hater thoughts or very like negative thoughts like oh so you're doing this now or like oh so this is how you're doing it now whatever okay let it go that person is not meant to go with you <laughs> and it sucks and it's hurtful but at the end of the day are you really gonna let that one person hold you back from what you want so bad no you're not gonna do that because you were sent here to do that you have this purpose this goal whatever you know is on your little heart and you have to do it and nobody's gonna get in the way of that if anything the universe God will send you people that are going to help you get there. Don't worry about what people are going to think of you. Don't worry about what, you know, people are going to say or the people that you might lose or what their perception of you is. And I'll tell you, like, most of that will come from social media. So just, just, just you know, refrain yourself from po from social media. So if you post something and you see it's like getting like a little bit of negativity, either don't care or just like don't pay attention to it. Or just if it's affecting you that bad, just take a little step back from it. Your focus should be on your life, like in the present, your life here <laughs> in the 3D world, not on your phone, you know? So just focus on whatever is going on. People only see like 5% of our life. So nobody can accurately judge you. Just like you can't accurately judge someone from what you're seeing on their Instagram or TikTok or whatever, like... We, we're all just trying to work towards different things. So if you see a friend that's like trying to start posting or trying to make content or they started a new business or whatever, support that. Like be a good friend, be a good person. Be like, oh my God, like cheer them on. Be that person. Like you literally don't know when you're first starting something, even if it's just one person that is like, oh my God, like yes, clapping for you. That's such a big like motive <laughs> that's such a big motivator it's like oh my god like it's like that there's like uh there's like this movie clip of like this one person in the cloud like clapping clapping <laughs> and everybody's just like sitting there but that one person is like clapping like that means the world to your friend or to whoever so if you see any of your friends or anybody close to you that's trying to do something new for their life or for themselves like cheer them on be like oh my god like that's so good for you like you never know what's on people's heart that helps people um stay motivated and go where they're meant to go and that's so, such a beautiful thing okay that's gonna be it for today's episode if you guys are working towards something and if you guys have like a new business you're starting or a new like tiktok page or anything literally please send it to me like i will happily like interact share it like i'll do you know i'll i'll like i will support you if you if you just need somebody in your corner if you're trying to start something new and you feel a little bit alone literally send it to me like i'll support you <laughs> i'll be that one person in the crowd like hey oh my god yeah like even you know even if i don't know you like send it to me i will post you i will do whatever i want everybody to do amazing and to do whatever they're you know have their dreams come true this is it for today's episode this is our wednesday episodes so like i said our wednesday episodes are going to be a little bit shorter and then our sunday episodes are going to be a little bit more deep and in length so 
that is it for today's episode. I hope you guys have a beautiful Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, <laughs> and we will see you guys on Sunday. As always, you can't feel victory if there is no battle to be won. So thank you guys so much for listening, and we will see you on the next